Shalom everyone. I am alone and today we are sailing to Koh Lan Island. Ko in Thai means an island. Lan is its own name. Koh Lan is one of the eastern coastal islands of Thailand. Koh Lan is located at seven and a half kilometers from the nearest coast of Pattaya. Koh Lan is the largest island near Pattaya, located on the eastern side of the Gulf of Thailand. Administratively, Kolan belongs to Banglamun, Chonburi province. Kolan is also called Coral Island. It is a small island of the coast of Pattaya and one of the must-see places if you come to it. Anyone who has ever been to Pattaya knows that Pattaya Beach doesn't look like a tropical paradise beach at all. Recently, during the coronavirus, the beach was significantly expanded and ennobled. It has become just a beautiful part of the city embankment. I fly over it regularly. And now we are going to Kolan. Kolan is about 4 km long and 2 km wide. It is an island of hills covered with low rainforests. Ferries and high-speed boats connect Kolan to the mainland. The roads in Kolan are good, as well as in all of Thailand. Driving vehicles here is a pleasure, respect. There are two small islands near Kolan, Kosak and Kokrok. Kosak Island is a narrow, sickle-shaped island with a small bay open to the north. It is just over half a kilometer from the northern tip of Kolan. Its highest point is 33 meters. In the north there is a horseshoe-shaped beach. Accommodation is available on the island. Kokrok Island is private, located less than 2 kilometers east of the north coast of Kolan. Its highest point is 41 meters. I told you some general information about the island. And now it's the same, but in more details. I am going to the island for a day on a speedboat. At the price. We agreed in the company for 200 baht for round trip tickets per person. Usually the ticket price for this type of transport is from 200 to 400 baht. The travel time is 15 minutes. Speedboats are served not by one company, but at least four or five. All of them sail from Bali High Pier in central Pattaya. Uh, when you walk along the pier in Bali High, you can see a lot of painted boats in different ways. Each company has its own color. All of them have offices on the pier. Ask, bargain. Find the right one for you. You can also use the ferry that goes to the island. It's much cheaper. The price of the slow boat ticket is 30 baht. It won't be possible to get a discount. Before boarding, specify which beach your transport arrives on, so as not to get lost on the way back. Ferries depart from Bali High Pier to Kolan every day. Departure time from 7 am to 6.30 pm. From Kolan back to Pattaya, ferries run from 6.30 am to 6 pm. Ferries and high-speed boats can arrive at two different piers on Kolan depending on the schedule. Be sure to specify when arriving. Pier Nim, Naban and Tavayan. High speed boats always arrive at the main pier Naban, but ferries sail by the schedule. Of course, the island is small, but it's not too comfortable to walk on it by leg. Upon arrival at any of its pier, you can rent a scooter or use the service of taxi Songtel. The scooter rental starts from 300 baht per day. The cost of a trip to Songteo is 70 baht. 
Today is Sunday, the day. A lot of tourists came to the island and, as a result, all the scooters of this pier have already been rented. Let's go to Songtel. Kulana is located about 7.5 km from Pattaya, about 45 minutes ferry or 15 minutes by speedboat. The island offers several white sandy beaches. I'll only be able to visit one of them today, because I didn't get a scooter, but I will tell you a little about everything. All of beaches on Kulan are beautiful. All of them are with white sand. The difference is only in details. There is a beach with monkey for fans. There is a beach near the pier. I don't want to swim with the ferries. It stinks of fuel and doesn't look clean. It's more pleasant. A beach with the sea urchins or a beach with the corals. I plan to swim with the mask and I choose the last one. Most of Kalan beaches are on the west side. The most visited is Tavayen beach, where there is a small harbor. There are many small tourist shops and restaurants on the beach. There is a 7-Eleven. Tavayen beach is the main beach of Kulan. Fine sand on the beach is white and turquoise water is crystal clear. However, it should be realized that these characteristics do not allow the beach to remain empty. The beach is mostly crowded and it's far from tranquility. And where there are a lot of people, there is a lot of garbage. For Thais, this statement is quite true. In addition, be prepared that you will meet garbage while swimming, which is not very pleasant. Naban Pier Beach is not displayed on any map, as it is not really a beach at all. It is located next to Taban Pier and has no sandy shore. The beach is not good at all for swimming or lying in the sun, because there are a lot of stones there. However, you can eat well at the local restaurant and enjoy the calm of the island and also take a lot of great photos featuring these stones. The photographers will understand me. It's must-have place for Instagram. Tolan Beach is similar to Tavayan Beach, as it is almost adjacent to Tavayan Beach. Only a small path separates the two beaches from each other. You can reach Tolan Beach on foot from Tavayan Beach, along the path at the bottom of the beach, as well as on the road from the village of Naban. In addition, this beach is always visited quite often. Tavai beach is certainly very beautiful. It's easy to get from Naban Pier. Turn left and go straight to the beach. The beach is not the largest, but offers a fantastic atmosphere, especially at sunset. Tavai beach is a real highlight. However, if you make a day trip to Kulan, you will not be able to enjoy the sunset. Other beaches are Noal Beach, Tien Beach, Same. Noal Beach is also known as Monkey Beach, and it is located at the south of the island. It also has white sand and good clean water. In addition, the beach is not as crowded as Tavayen Beach. If you walk along the beach to the left, you will have the whole beach just for you, as no one will settle here. In addition, with the rocks protruding from the water, you will have a really cool opportunity to take a picture. Same Beach is located in the western part of Kulan, near Tian Beach. The beach is similar to Noal Beach and has an excellent shore with crystal clear water. The beach is always quite busy. If you are looking for a secluded place, this beach is not for you. 
there is also a small observation deck overlooking the neighborhood. The visit is definitely worth it. Tien Beach may seem inhospitable at first, because there are only stones instead of sand on the beach. But this is deceptive, because the actual Tien Beach is a little further to the right, and it can only be reached by crossing the bridge. But after arrival, you will find a really good area of the beach where you can relax. The beach is always relatively busy, but you will definitely find a lovely place as you wish. Again, the farther you walk along the beach, the quieter and lonely it becomes. My shooting is all from this beach. There, not far from the cape in the farthest part of the beach, I swam with a mask, I watched corals. All these shooting are included in this video. Moreover, the daytime shooting underwater from Kulan is in no way inferior to the video from the PP Island, uh, which was also shot in the daytime. The video from PP is available on my channel. Kulan is a very small island. You will not find many attractions there. However, there are several very steep observation points that give you a good view of the island. For example, the Land Tone Observation Deck. As mentioned above, Same Beach has a small observation deck with a beautiful view of Same Beach. In the other direction, only the expanses of the ocean are in the front of the ice. New observation deck is in the center of the island. You can get to this point by following the road to Same Tian Beach from Naban Pier. On the right side, there is a small access road leading there. It offers a magnificent view of the island and on the horizon. You can see the outlines of Pattaya and Chongtian. Another observation deck is Kuan Yin. Undoubtedly, the Kuan Yin Observation Deck, also known as the Big Buddha Observation Deck, is the most beautiful in Kulan. There is a statue of Kuan Yin, and you have fantastic views of the entire north of the island, including Tawayan Beach. If you walk under the scorching sun you dreamed of, then climbing 250 steps, it's for you.
At the end of the journey, you will get a small pagoda that can be seen from a fair. This is the highest point of Kulan. It should be expected that uh, there will be an excellent view of the island from here. Unfortunately, this is not the case, as everything is overground here. And therefore, in fact, the review is very limited. There are a total of three temples in Kolan, but they are not anything special and hardly worth mentioning. Next to Taban Pier is a new chapel under construction. On the opposite side there is also a temple. It's a very small temple, a monk lives here. Here you can also see a large statue of a monk, as well as a beautiful view of Tawayan Beach. The Buddhist shrine is located at the highest point, at an altitude of 180 meters above sea level. Kulan also has a lot of water entertainment for everyone. Whether you like parasailing, swimming, scuba diving, jet skiing or banana riding, kayaking, or maybe just want to spend a day on the beach, the offer of all this on Kulan is great. There are two small villages on the island, Ban Kulan and Ban Krok Mahan, where you can rent apartment to spend the night on the island. If you miss a day trip from Pattaya to Kolan, you can spend a few nights on the island and explore it calmly. The base room prices start from 890 baht. Kulan has a fairly large farm of hotel and resort rooms. The range of prices at a hotel on the island is from 890 baht to 8000 baht per villa. Many offers in the range of 1500 to 2500 baht. But before choosing a particular beach, I recommend renting a scooter for 300 baht a day and first exploring the island before settling on one of the beaches. The idea of spending the night is quite interesting, because in the evening and in the morning hours, one day tourists are not yet on the island or have already left. It will allow you to enjoy the atmosphere of this place without crowds of people. So, if you are already in Pattaya or nearby, don't miss the island. Of course, it is worth visiting this place. Now I will add a spoonful of tar to this beautiful barrel of tropical paradise. The consequences of tourism and plastic waste. In the low season, Kulan attracts about 3,000 visitors per day. In high season, up to 20,000 people visit every day. They generate about 2 million baht of daily income. 
The maximum daily capacity of visitors is about 6,500 people. In addition, up to 8,000 permanent residents and workers live in the island. Visitors and residents of the island produce about 50 tons of solid waste per day, mainly from food and plastic containers, foam and glass bottles. But the authorities of Pattaya can only take out 20-25 tons per day. There is no landfill in Pattaya. The waste transports from Kulan to a place in neighboring Saraburi. The remaining 10 tons of garbage per day on Kulan accumulate in a landfill of 12 rice in the center of the island. More than 50,000 tons of garbage have been accumulated on the island now. There were plans to build a waste recycling and separation trash by 2016. But that hasn't happened yet. When traveling around the island, this problem is acutely felt on every section of the road. Everywhere along the island's road, there is a permanent landfill. With this not very positive note, I will finish my video. Thanks for watching. Like my video if it was interesting. Subscribe to my channel. I live in Thailand and travel here. There will be many more interesting things about this place. Join my trip. Bye, guys.